Welcome back. I have John Lube and Margaret Bennett who are here with the Bridge Club. They've got two very exciting uh, upcoming events that we need to tell you about. So welcome both of you. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. So John, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about the Bridge Club. I know you've been on before, but some, maybe there's some new people who haven't heard. Well, the Bridge Club's uh, one of the largest clubs in Laguna Woods. It has about 600 members. And we're part of a bigger organization called American Contract Bridge League. And so uh, we're, uh, it's a, a national organization that runs bridge clubs all over the country. And I think there's 3,200 or something like that bridge clubs around the country. Wow. And we're probably the second largest in the country. We, wow. well, at one time we were the largest, but a club in New York combined and they became a little bigger than we are. Man, so 600 members, that, that's a lot. It that's is. That's a lot. Is it all on one day or is it varying days? We play bridge almost every day of the week. Okay. Uh, they're from, usually the game is from 1230 to 4. And we have about 160 to 200 people a day playing bridge. Man, that is a lot of people. And there's uh, most of the bridge is duplicate bridge, but right. a couple of days of the week there's a progressive bridge. Mm -hmm. And our programs in teaching bridge and learning bridge are for anybody. It isn't necessarily just duplicate. It would be for anybody that wants to learn bridge, and it's a great social game, great game for your brain. You might expand on that. Yes, let me. Uh, I'm proud to say that Laguna Woods has something unique in the world of bridge in that uh, they com uh, they combined with uh, a major, a w well, I should say a world-renowned uh, research institute to oh. do a longitudinal study, which means over a 25-year period. Mm -hmm. And uh, the research institute is the University of California, Irvine. Okay. And the study showed not only the benefits of bridge, but ranked bridge as number one in uh, maintaining your uh, cognitive skills and deferring any kind of dementia or uh, problems with uh, your brain later in no, life. So now yes. why bridge versus anything else? Well, well it, uh, it stretches your brain and you never learn all there is. It's an ongoing process right. of learning. So okay. uh, you know, there's a competitive aspect, there's a learning aspect, and it's a social aspect. Right. And so it's, uh, it's a great you know, game to learn for life. So when there's a counting and an adding and things like that too, it's a right. partnership game, okay. so you have to communicate, and counting is very important. Mm -hmm. If you really don't count, you can't improve your game. Mm. I mean, you're not only counting the cards and what has been played, but you're trying to estimate what points either you or your partner or your uh, opponents have mm -hmm. so you can figure out where the, a lot the, of the winning card is all. Say pretty strategic yes. uh, moves, right? Yes. Okay, and I know and that. And it's fun. Well, and it's fun too, you guys. Well, I don't think it, if, if you have 600 members, so something's going right. Yeah. And I think the social aspect is really important too because it gets you up every day, it right. gets you dressed, gets your makeup and your hair done, and it gets you out there in the world. John, you're uh, your makeup and hair? There are, uh, well, <laughs> some of that. there are some benefits. I met my wife in the beginning oh, bridge class. there you go. Oh, that's Here great. in Laguna Woods. Right. <laughs> well, you're right. I mean, the social aspect of it is important. And, you know, for those people who say, oh, you know, I don't want to go out or I want to do anything. But that would just be a nice way to get out, like you said, even just to learn, right, or meet people. Absolutely. Or so we have a class coming yes. up on January 20th. Okay. That is for anybody that is interested in learning to play bridge. Okay. You don't have to have any experience. You didn't have to know an ace from a king. But it's a process where we, you can learn the game. Okay. And the, it's a one-day program that you kind of gets the basics of learning bridge. Okay. And it's uh, on January 20th. Mm -hmm. And from, I think, 10.30, there's coffee. The, game, the lessons start from 11 to 4. Right. And there'll be a lunch involved and, and that type of a thing. Okay. And we have two instructors that are nationally certified that are doing it. Okay. And it's just a great program to get started. Then we'll have a follow-up class after that to learn, you know, to keep you interested and learn a little bit more about it, find a partner, those kinds of things okay. that'll start after that Learn Bridge in it. Okay. And that, was, and that was a $25 cost and that includes lunch, correct? It, uh, lunch, uh, well, bagels Bre first and then lunch and later. Lunch. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And study materials. There oh, are good. handouts okay. that uh, the students can keep and refer to later. Oh, good. Good. And they can bring those, can they bring those with them to play bridge as well, the instructions or not? Well, in the beginning bridge classes, you can. Okay. Once you get into a certain level, you know, you can't have aids. You have to, you know, rely on your memory. 
Okay, gotcha. There gotcha. you go. Yeah. The memory. <laughs> I have to have my little cheat sheet. Yeah. So. Okay, and then and then Margaret, let's talk about what you, what you provide. So Bridge Basics. Yes, there uh, we're using the Audrey Grant series. Okay. It's a series of three books. And uh, so there's three sets of lessons. Okay. The first uh, session I taught um, starting on October 5th, mm -hmm. and it ran through the beginning of December. And it really covered most of what they cover in Learn Bridge in a Day. A as John said, you really, you don't, have ne you don't even have to have ever played cards before, mm -hmm. because we start at the very beginning. There are 52 cards in the deck, there are four right. suits, okay. and the value of the aces, kings, queens, and jacks. Okay. So we really start people from the beginning, but there's also people that played a bridge in college and they want a refresher and they want to learn the new techniques exactly. because bridge is an evolving game actually it's three or four hundred years in in the, in an evolution mm -hmm. and um, every we keep improving on techniques to mm -hmm. communicate to our partner uh, exactly what we have in our hand and where we should be going uh, mm -hmm. to either make a contract or defeat the opponents Okay, well it sounds very interesting. So that starts January 4th and it goes through February 15th. Yes, so, that's so the it's second seven, session. Oh, okay, so, and it's seven classes. Correct. Okay, and that was for $50 for all seven classes. Correct. Or you can do $8 for a single session. Yes, and then of course you need to buy the book and we provide the book, it's a, a total of $12. Okay, okay, perfect. And the book is wonderful because not only does it reinforce the lesson, but there are examples, there are um, uh, hands that you can review and learn from on your own. Mm -hmm. And I really encourage students after the lesson to go back and keep reinforcing right. what you're learning because it's like building blocks. Okay. You start at the very beginning and then you add this level and you add this level and uh, okay. that's what makes the game so exciting. So so I want to ask both of you two questions um, and I want to hear each, each of your answers. So. So, in your opinion, what is the most fun about bridge and what is the most challenging? Well, uh, the most fun is um, meeting new people and having experiences. We get to go to tournaments in many different places in the world. As a matter of fact, I took a uh, cruise of the Western Caribbean and I competed Oh, wow. <laughs> and bridge on the cruise, so that was fun. But, you know, we go to places like, I've been to Hawaii to play bridge and, well, Las Vegas, I'm, you don't have to go to play bridge in Las Vegas, but I did. Yeah. Next year I'm going to San Francisco. Okay. So I'm doing a little bit of traveling, but okay. more important for me is I have met so many wonderful people okay. who have enriched my life in so many different ways. Right. So that's the fun part. Uh, the challenging part is the game itself because there are so many components to it. Basically, uh, there's a, the bidding mm -hmm. and then there's the play of the hand. If you bid and win the contract, you have to be able to make that contract. Mm. And then, if you're an opponent, you have to be able to defeat that contract oh, just wow. by what cards you play. Mm. That's how you communicate to your partner hmm. by the card you play. If it's high, it means one thing. If it's low, it means another thing. Oh, I see. And it's like peeling back an onion right. and just learning. The more you uh, learn about bridge, right. the more you realize you need to learn. So right, there's John. more layers after layers. Yes. Right. Lots of layers. Yeah. Never learn yeah. all of it. Right, right. And how about for you? Well. Uh, Several things. She, you know, my wife and I love to travel to play to bridge tournaments mm -hmm. as well. So we, you know, we were in Palm Springs recently. We're going on a bridge cruise in March, and so that's fun. But I think the game itself is the most fun okay. to learn. You know, figure out why somebody else made one more trick than I did, mm -hmm. or you know, or why I did better than somebody else. The competition of it to me is the exciting part okay. of the game. Okay. All right. And how about the most challenging? Keep learning. Yeah, keep, keep learning. Keep yeah. getting better at it. Okay. If you're a lifelong learner, yeah, this is the game for you. Oh, <laughs> well, it sounds very exciting. And the fact that you travel to compete is really interesting, too, that there's actually, I mean, I guess for any type of sport or card game, you could probably find that. But I like the fact that all these Well, it's kind of like when I grew up, I traveled to play golf. Well, now okay. I play golf and I play bridge. So there you go. <laughs> you can maybe, maybe there's a combined one where you can you do can. golf and bridge. Oh, is there really? <laughs> yes. That is awesome. A lot of times. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's great. Well, thank you both so much. So we've got you uh, with your classes starting January 4th through February 15th. The second of three parts. Right. Okay, yes. the second of three parts. All right, got it. And then uh, for you, January 20th. Right. I just want to add on one thing. What the Bridge Club does is it about 
three, two or three, sometimes times a year, they offer classes for people to learn bridge. Okay. So it's an ongoing thing. You know, her class started in October for a beginning bridge. Now she's doing a second part of it. We're starting a brand new learn bridge in January right. 20th, and there'll probably be another one in the spring. Right. But there are always, uh, you know, opportunities to get involved and learn bridge. Okay. You don't have to always just wait for the class. You can you can come at uh, certain times during right. the week or, yes. or the month. Okay, perfect. Well, thank yes. you both so much. It was thank very nice you, to Lisa. hear about all the exciting stuff going on at the Bridge Club. Okay, that's fine. Very good. All right, thank you. And as you've heard, Bridge is fun. So you guys get out there and get in touch with them and start either a new opportunity or refresh an old one. We'll be right back after this.